a Breton derby with consequences at either end of the table. It was Regis Lebris's Lorient who were the shock jocks last season. European qualification never materialised. Now Le Merleau were fighting for the top flight status. Vess have been dominant in Ligue 1 seas, but no sign of Eric Waz. Pirates laying down their swords in the fight for the Champions League. Andradine Bunani made his first start for Le Merleau. He had a chance to break the deadlock. Panos Caceres using his strength to get away from Bradley Loco. Four time capped. Nigerian teenager seeing his effort deflected. Marco Pisa, what reactions to keep the scoreline blank. Then Lord Abigail found Julian Ponso in space. Wonderful balance. Just couldn't get it. The inside of the post. Eric Wah certainly said this was one of their toughest examinations. It was 4 0 the last time the sides met. A quite incredible game at Francis Leblay. But this time around, goal is at the break. Well, the Brice lost his first Breton derby as a coach in the reverse fixture. Eric Waz, Pirates hoping to do the double. Mohamed Bamba finding darling Yongwa. Couldn't keep his effort down. And then Lorient shot themselves in the foot. A loose pass from Nathaniel Adje picked up an ending with Roma del Castillo. Ending an eventful week for the new dad. He only came on for the final 25 minutes, along with Camora Dumbia, who scored the quadruple in the reverse fixture. This time the Mali man setting up del Castillo. A sixth goal of the season. Now Bress, out and out top scorer. Well, incredibly, Bress have won nine points, having scored after the 85th minute. And they also had Bizot to thank, denying Yongwa again. A smashing grab for the Pirates, although they would end with 10 men. Bilal Brahimi sent off. Jerome Brissar. Then bringing the match to a close. Lorient on top, and yet falling to defeat from the brilliant Pirates. They were without Pierre Les Melu, suspended, and yet the rest stood up to be counted.